Okay, here we're going to be writing abbreviated electron configurations. So it says representing the core electrons with the previous noble gas. So let's find phosphorus. We need to find phosphorus. There it is. So the previous noble gas is neon. So that fills up our second row. So we're going to put neon in brackets. So we all need, only need to write the third row. So that's going to be 3s2, 3p1, 2, 3. 3s2, 3p3. Okay, germanium. Where's germanium? Right there, it's number 32. The noble gas in the previous row is argon, and that's the third row. So we're going to say argon, those are our core electrons. So we're going to be starting in the fourth row. So we're going to have 4s2. What comes after 4s when we go to the D block? Row number minus 1, 3d10. Then we go to 4p2. Zirconium. Zirconium is here, so it's in the fifth row. We need to find the noble gas at the end of the fourth row. That would be krypton. So krypton. So here we are in the fifth row. We start with 5s2. Now we go into the D block, which means we have to go row number minus one. So this would be 4d1, 2. And, you know, when you're dealing with S's and D's here, we can say, oh, is there any way we could shift these around to be full or half full? There's not. So we're done. This is iodine. Iodine is here. It's in the fifth row. That noble gas is krypton again. So in the fifth row, we're going to have 5s2. All the way through the D block, 4D10. And then we're back up to 5P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5P5. All right, now let's use the periodic table and match these. Here, I'm going to renumber this 3, renumber this 2. Okay, I'm fixing that. Now, so these are abbreviated ones. So let's start with argon. Okay, so now we have 4s2, 3d10, that takes us to zinc, 4p6. So that gets us to krypton. Just following the roadmap. Next one argon, 4s2, 3d2, that's going to be titanium. Krypton, that's a full fourth row, and then we're going to have 5s2, 4d10, 5p2, that's going to be 10, or sn. Last one, Krypton, 5s2, which you can't see there, 5s2 is strontium.